Hi, Wyatt Cox, WhitePineNews.com. Hate to go through this way to do this, but we don't have a choice. This is the only way that we're going to be able to get this audio uploaded is to go through YouTube, and I really hate doing that. Here's the audio uh, from the County Commission meeting of uh, March uh, 11th, 2015. And during that County Commission meeting, uh, during the governmental uh, reports section or legislative reports section, uh, the discussion turned to the disincorporation of the city of Ely, and it was brought up by Ely City Council person Tammy Carlgren, who was almost ejected from the meeting. Let's listen to uh, the recording that we got of the meeting. The first person you'll hear is Gary Perea. Later, you will hear Lori Carson, and then you'll hear, I believe, uh, you'll hear um, very briefly speaking in it, not even to speaking to the issue or on the issue, uh, County Commissioner Mike Coster, and then at length you will hear Richard Howe talking about how he worked with a number of citizens to try to do the petition uh, as is provided in the statutes uh, to have the city disincorporated. And that would have been preferred to this method, as we pointed out in our article on whitepinenews.com, that this was something that could have uh, uh, been done differently and should have been done differently. Now it's uh, just kind of pulling at the uh, uh, lowering the bar, if you will. Let's listen. So, yes, I did talk with Pete, and he, Pete has called a number of people, and I told him my thoughts. I thought that, you know, in a county that with less than 10,000 people, that it doesn't make sense to have two layers of government, and that by consolidating, there could be some savings for the taxpayers. You know, and that's been basically what that uh, uh, the ballot question was all about. And so, um, that's, you know, that, that's my stance, and you know whether the, I, in my preference at this point, you know it's in, it's in the hands of the legislature whether they decide to move forward. And I'm I'm sure that's fine. No, I'm sure let, me, let me finish. What that right? This, this is this is the Nevada. This is this is the name. county, and this is a county meeting. Please all go down. Okay, let me. I'll, I'll address that in just a second. Okay, I'm I'm trying to finish my thoughts here. No. <laughs> um, let me put, get back to it. Basically, you know, the county we did vote, or the county or the people voted to consolidate, and we're going to move forward in that. To, or it's in the hands of the legislature right now, and if they decide to uh, move forward with it, what it does is it, it allows the people of Ely, the citizens of Ely, to disincorporate. It, it'll allow, it'll give them that opportunity to vote either vote it up or down. And, uh, and my, my point, uh, my, uh, you know, from my perspective at this point, the county's out of it. This board is not going to be involved with it. This is going to be up to the city of Ely and the residents of city of the city of Ely. And I think it is. It, I'm it, it, it's a pro. It's a What's going on? Okay, uh, let me finish my sentence. Mr. Mr. Chairman, I, I suggest if she interrupts again, she'd be trespassing the board. Thank you. My my thinking is is that we let the city of Ely and let them go for it, the, the citizens, and then we'll stay out of it. Now, as far as what you're looking at, this is from NACO and from <coughs> this bill was introduced on Monday. It's brand new. It hasn't had the opportunity to get out, but Pete uh, wanted to get it in before the deadline. And so you'll, there there is going to be a workshop on this bill on Friday at one o'clock in Carson City. And so anybody that has any concerns about that has that opportunity to address the legislature today, that committee at that time. And I can add, the, the League of Cities has their own, go through their own legislative uh, needs uh, and questions and, and concerns, just like what we do. So you might contact Wes Henderson. He's the executive uh, director for the uh, League of Cities. Or talk to your mayor. Can I give a time tape? About two points. Yeah, and this was not on the spreadsheet because this is a recent addition. It just, it it just not, happened. It just, yeah. if, we, if this would have been introduced a couple weeks ago, it would be on our spreadsheet. Yes. As we mentioned before, the legislation is this thing. And is, that's just is, how it happened. It's going fast and. This is not intended to be a comprehensive list. No. The sheet needs to know. We have some different discussion. I'm going to let the Richard talk about the timetable. The timetable of what took place with Senator Grover Shear on Friday, last Friday, it started back, I've written a couple of letters in support right. as a private citizen. I was asked by a committee of citizens of Ely 
to find out the process of allowing the citizens to vote for disincorporation or not. I did attend the meet. I talked to Pete Yogashia the last time on this. It was at a funeral in November. He said, I, I can introduce a BDR to the Senate. I said, don't do that right now. We have a citizens group. And I, I went and did the legwork. I went to the city offices. I talked to Bob. <coughs> Yeah. What it was, was we needed 118 signatures by January 20th to put it on the ballot. We wanted to put it on the ballot. There was a meeting of some concerned citizens. I was a citizen. I spoke to that board as a citizen of Ely, and I, I talked to the DA. I was well within my rights to do that. I explained to them the process. I, I, I eliminated myself from any kind of a vote. They, they decided they did not want to go forward with a petition to get the 118 signatures. This was in the middle of December, I think around December 17th, right before Christmas. They knew what the process, there was always that process of the recall, so they didn't want to conflict everything. So they as a whole, I had nothing to do with it. They said, let's don't do the petition. We don't, we had till January 26th. That's the last time I addressed that hang, hang part. Hang hold that thought. <laughs> First, I will the conclusion hit a tape break. <laughs> That's the last time I addressed that. I had talked to one other citizen. I'd never heard anything more about this BDR until Friday afternoon, Friday evening. Pete Gogashia called me on his way home from the legislature. He was headed to Eureka. I was like the last person he contacted. He had already contacted Melody Van Camp, the mayor of Eden. He had already talked to Sam Hansen. He had a verbal discussion with Gary. He had talked to Mike Lemons, he had talked to John Ginoli, and a couple of other people, he told me. I was probably the last person, I was privy over the weekend to the fact that this was going to be presented on Monday morning. 6.30 Monday morning, I got a NACO alert on my iPhone that there was this legislature about addressing White Pine County and the city of Eden. That's, a, that's the timetable that went on. We stopped the process December 17th of even asking the city residents. I applaud Senator Gokashia for one more thing, for sure. He introduced this bill to allow the citizens of Ely to vote one way or the other. And the way the citizens of Ely vote, whatever they vote is good with me. If they vote not to, that's fine. It's specific, and we all got a print on it. It's a very plain thing. Do you want to disincorporate the city? Yes or no. If the city is disincorporated, the the councilman and the people in charge would stay on until December 31st, 2015. January 1st, 2016, the county would become the governing board. What this is, and you guys put my name out there for, that was BS. It was, it's simply a, a BDR by Senator Gogashia that was introduced Monday, and they're going to act on it, and if they do, it will be by April the 7th, submitted to the city of Ely to put on the general ballot in June 2nd, to vote yes or no. This is nothing where a bunch of people are going out to disincorporate the city. I don't like that word. I'd rather have it be combined, but that's what they make us do. That's the timetable. Whoever wrote that about me, uh, I, I can't even... You, okay. you mentioned so, 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 that you thought it was me. And it, it isn't. We're not going to have comments between the... Well, yeah, was, and, and here. Sorry, no. no I'm sorry, no. No, sorry. We're not... This is the time, but that, that's the timetable, so that's, that's all I have to say about it. Okay. And Gary, let me just add real quick that the last two legislative sessions, it has always been out there, uh, the thought of, of combining uh, or dissolving or disincorporating uh, in the smaller communities just because of the layer of two costs uh, that the uh, legislation has, has always told me <coughs> putting forward a bill doing that. And as I mentioned before, that you know, it was over <coughs> where the citizens of White Pine County voted for the one government yes. agency. This is the progression. This is going to the legislature, and it's just putting it up for a vote. And like I said, anybody that wants to make the drive over to Carson City on Friday at 1 to make their comments or their suggestions, they're welcome to. So we are going to hey, close that, that item. And we're going may to I, I, I actually make one short comment just to, ref I think, okay. refine something you said? Okay. Um, They've stated in the general. A person who's particularly interested in this might want to look at the ballot breakout from 2010. Yes. Because I obtained it yesterday, and, and I'm not taking a position of any kind. I just want to inform the public that the 
Ely only districts, uh, precincts, voted in majority yes. in support of that 2010 voter referendum. Okay. Circumstances have changed, perhaps a lot, a little, whatever. But uh, when you said the county voted for this, the county in fact did. But in principal part, the majority came from the precincts that were in Ely, which surprised me. And if I had them, I would wave it around. Okay. Thank you. We'll go ahead and take a 10-minute break. <coughs>